Have you given any thought to what this is going to do to him? I'm sorry if I'm hurting Paul. Of course you're hurting him. Because in spite of everything, I don't think he ever stopped loving you. Maybe in a strange way, this is the kindest thing you could ever do for him. Because I finally see you for the cold-hearted bitch you really are. George had all the confidence in the world in you. He always thought of you as the son he never had. Now it's true, he's put an enormous amount of power and wealth in your hands. And in, in a very real sense, he's also put you in charge of his wife's future. And nothing meant more to him than Cassandra. There are just so many things about this that bother me. I just have a feeling in the pit of my stomach. What kind of feeling? Well, that all the pieces don't really fit right here. Like what? Like the gun, for instance. I mean, the police have been looking all over for it, and they can't seem to find it. Well, my guess is the killer took it with him. Okay. What about the jewelry? What about the jewelry? I mean, he could have taken so much more than he did. Only nine pieces out of Cassandra's whole jewelry box. Cassandra, there is no way in hell I represent you. If anything, I'll be testifying against you. Why, Brittany? How can you even ask me that? After what you've done, you killed my uncle. A man I adored. You shot him to death in cold blood in his own home. And if that wasn't enough, you turned around and tried to make it look like a burglary. And then sat calmly by while another man I loved took the blame for your crime. What you have done is utterly reprehensible, Cassandra. You were so quick to judge. You never gave a damn about Paul. You were willing to let him spend the rest of his life rotting away in a jail cell for a crime you committed. You really surprised me, you know that? Why is that? You're so calm. I guess when you're hurt and deceived often enough, you become numb to it. <laughs> I suppose so. Look, I better be going. I kind of get the feeling you'd like to be alone. I just didn't want you to read about this in the newspapers, Paul. I appreciate that, thanks. Yo, yeah, well, I'm sure you two will be very happy at least for the brief period of time you have left before they lock you up and throw away the key.